I'm Davey Richmond. I'm Chris Gummerson. We are Glamour of the Kill. Glamour, glamour, glamour. We're, uh, we're at Norwich Waterfront with Amber Webb. Mm. That's her behind the camera. <laughs> sausages. <laughs> I think uh, she means sausages. Uh, yeah, sausages, yeah. I don't know, um, lots of different things really. Just like food, um, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> my favourite desserts mainly. Um, I don't know, everyday life I guess, everyday life. Um, we, don't really, we're not, we don't really get too deep in the lyrics, we kind of just kind of cool, uh, choose a cool subject and write, write about that. We don't do concept albums either, so we don't have like some uh, kind of continuous theme throughout albums, it's just kind of like different things, uh, different subjects going throughout the album. Break is about fucking a girl. It's about kind of girl taking control, yeah. Yeah, about an infomaniac basically, yeah. just being like a bit of a dominatrix kind of thing. Um, and the guy like really enjoying that and wanting her to take control. Uh, second chance. It's about having a second chance, you know. It's about a guy who's kind of needs a, a new start with his life. He's kind of taking a kind of shitty route and just wants a. Second chance. Yeah, it's about like a guy being, like, if you listen to the lyrics, like, I've had enough, it feels like I'm drowning. We kind of, when we sat down, we kind of like, let's write a song about people not enjoying working nine to five. Like, a lot of our friends work in, like, shitty call jobs or, like, shoe shops, um, nine to five. <laughs> um, and uh, we thought, let's write a song about wanting to break free from that and wanting a better life, so second chance came. Three on the album is the only one. This, Quite is, gay, so this is our gay one, yeah. isn't it? Our yeah. gay little uh, Don Henley ballad. Um, kind of just about missing your loved ones while you're away. Um, <coughs> we don't want to get too deep into this because it's gay. And when, like, we, when we say gay, like, it's, it's quite bad we say that. When we say gay, we mean it's like quite soppy for us. It's like we originally wrote it about being on tour and missing your loved ones and stuff and wanting to get back to them, but really we don't have feelings we don't. at all. Like, we love being on tour and everyone else. Got a little black heart. Also number four. Number four is live for the weekend, David. No doubt we'll be out, lying on the floor. Yeah, that's just about getting absolutely wrecked with your friends. Um, I get like we kind of wrote it so people can kind of relate to it. Like a lot of people again work nine to five so they can go out on the weekend, and that's where the live for the weekend thing came from, didn't it? Yeah. But a lot of it is just literally just having a good time with your friends, getting drunk, wanting to fuck girls, getting more drunk, passing out, puking up. Doing it all again. Number five is Freak Like Me. Freak you talk about this one. Okay. It's um it's just about kind of us really and our attitude to life. Um we're kind of quite carefree and we don't take responsibility a lot of the time for our own actions. Um which is kind of like is the the guy who we're relating to within the the song, and it's just kind of like you know, still girls wanting to be part of somebody with this uh, attitude, which is kind of you know you think they wouldn't, but they still do. Next one is heartbreak. David, take it away. Heartbreak. <laughs> There's quite a. Uh... Thing going on this album again. I think that's like about fucking a girl, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to fucking on people. Yeah. We like to fuck. We like to fuck. Um, yeah, and you can kind of, if you listen to those lyrics, it's just like, girl, I don't buy you, let's find the darkest place in your mind. Open up. I want to make you mine. Open up being legs. Um, girl, you taste so right. And just, um, yeah, it's just about, like, it's kind of quite a... Yeah, we kind of, yeah, we kind of brutal, really, like, brutal way of, yeah. like, just... Um, Fucking a girl, you can tell her to get out. Didn't, all the guys will know. <laughs> you know, like, when, when you go out on the night out and... Like you wake up the next day and you want the girl to go, so you kick it out. But you try, but but then you try. But then she masturbates you, and then bathes you, and makes you. Clean yeah, it's about that. Basically, fucking the girl until to get out because she looked better the night before after you'd had eight pints. Yeah. What's one after that? After that, uh, <laughs> reading it off. Me. That. I'm definitely not reading this off the queue. I know <laughs> the album. I know it. <laughs> Rescue Me is about a man um, that is addicted to drugs, isn't yeah, it? It's um, a drug addiction song. Yeah, it's just about being off your head and wanting to be sober again, I guess. 
It's kind of like um, it's weird though because it's not directly about uh, you know the the lyrics are quite ambiguous in the fact that it's um, it's talking about cutting the line and stuff like that, but uh, it's and like drawing the line and stuff. Sorry, but he's not actually talking about like holding himself back. He's actually just talking about like racking up the next line. Um, so yeah, that's it. And then next after that we have leave it all behind. That song is about a. It's a kind of similar concept to Second Chance. Um, a guy kind of moving on and leaving like the, the bullshit in his life behind him. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's the, basically the clues in the title. It's just literally about moving on with your life. If you listen to the lyrics of that, it's quite. The thing about this is, is that like yeah, like what I said before, we don't really write <sighs> lyrics that are necessarily about us. Just stuff that people can relate to. Again, like leave it all behind. A lot of people kind of sit about during the day doing fuck all and they always dream about doing different things and a lot of people don't do it so I reckon that song is about someone actually getting up and doing it. I can't even read that dude, what's next? A beautiful day to die. So this one was kind of like a quite a fun one to write. Um, we love the film American Psycho with Christian Bale <laughs> and this uh, this kind of song was based on that film. Again, as you can see, like there's no um, theme going throughout the album. Beautiful Day to Die is that kind of uh, stalker, psycho kind of feel, um, where a guy wants to be with a girl so much that he eventually ends up killing her. Uh, moving on from that, Tears of the Sun. This one's quite a funny one really because um, a guy that works at our label at E1 Entertainment in America, he actually makes his own hot sauces. And one of his hot sauces that we all fucking loved was called Tears of the Sun. So we thought, let's kind of flip that around and actually use that title uh, and uh, <laughs> make it into a man that's like addicted to heroin. And throughout the, verse, uh, the verses, he's like singing about how much he loves it, how much he's addicted to it, how much when he takes it, he sails off to a different place and stuff. But actually, it's about hot sauce and how much we fucking love it. Yeah. Gives me the shit. But... <laughs> Finally, welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. Um, this does exactly what it says on the tin. The it's intro just... is fucking fantastic. For all you people that are listening who don't know, the intro is actually a very good friend of mine, Mr. Michael Kingswood. You might have seen him wrestling as Mankind, Dude Love, yeah. um, The Undertaker. He actually sings in the news as well, that he kicks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jack Black, yeah, he's another one of his alter egos. So yeah, it's just it's basically like a party song again, but it's like a party song in in the kind of concept of hell and um, like the devil being like the ringleader, party ringleader and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and we just thought it'd be a great way to finish the album with a kind of thrushy, uplifting kind of party, party tune. So, check it out. Sausage. <laughs> <laughs> we've, been, we've been Glamour of the Kill come see us on the Welcome Home Tour with the Dirty Youth, Glamour of the Kill, and Heaven's Basement. <laughs>